Hello and welcome to another episode of The Chainsaw Files. Today I will show you what will happen if you alter the signal of your guitar before you hit the HM2. The idea to this video came from reading in a forum on Facebook where um, people said that Buster Odehomes, uh, the eye tracks he plays with uh, Vijata and Humanity is Last Breath, sound uh, really awesome and um, the reason of that is that he alters them, he changes them before he actually hits the amp. And I thought, well, I can alter the eyes myself, so why not do this? But I'm not using plugins, I'm using the analog pedals so that this particular setup is applicable for live situations. The signal chain is my custom Fangen 7 string and this goes into three pedals. Of course we're dealing with HM2 sound, so for the HM2 I chose the Boss HM2 Wassercraft. It's in standard mode, everything on max except the gain to taste. We will dial in the chainsaw uh, in a minute. And for the two pedals that will alter my DI signal, I opted for the Boss Super Overdrive. Uh, this will basically add gain or drive or saturation to my guitar. And I also added the Lichtlärm Amber Spyglass and this will basically act as an EQ. For the amp, I chose the Brit Pre model of my Fractal Audio XFX3 XFX. And for cap IR, we use the Greasy Beard. The raw tone is this. Okay, let's fix the hair and go chainsaw. I think we can work with this sound. So let's actually go a step back and dial in the super overdrive so that we are basically at unity gain. So gain at zero. <laughs> So not the best pedal for this application, but to be honest, the best I have. So I dialed back the tone and the tone and slightly reduced the level. And now with the gain control, I can add the amount of saturation I want to have. For the Ambus Spyglass, everything is on noon, so we should have unity gain. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's find out what drive does to the HM2 signal. Therefore, I will activate the HM2 and then play with the drive control. So in my ears the sound doesn't get way better, it's a very slight difference and uh, what we do add however is noise and, and I don't think that's good. So next up we play around with the EQ and see what will happen. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, subtlety is king here. Uh, we could actually go more extreme, but I don't think it sounds this good. Or we either lose too much low end or we add too much high, high fizzy stuff we really don't want. But with a slight dip on bass and lower mids and a slight boost on the high mids, highs actually basically at noon, and a slight level boost to basically compensate. Sounds better. So we do have an additional mid frequency here. And let me actually do some kind of EQ sweep. Uh, first of all, I'll sweep for a very pleasant sounding frequency and boost this. And then I will sweep for a very unpleasant sounding frequency and cut this, if it works. I think boosting works better than cutting because I think uh, I lose too much tonal information. So this most probably could be because the Q value of the mid control on the MS Spyglass is a bit higher and with the more narrower 
a narrower key control would be more beneficial. However, that's not the purpose of this pedal. And um, I would need different pedal. For instance, I think the Empress Power EQ Mark II can change the Q value, uh, but I don't think it's n this necessary because boosting <laughs> makes fun as well. So last thing to do is to work with this setting and add the distortion the Super Overdrive gives me. There we have it. Can you alter the sound of an HM2 with an EQ before? Yes, of course. That wasn't even the question. But is it beneficial? I think yes as well, because I, while the pure signal chain without any pedals in front sounds very awesome and brutal, you can hear I can get rid of some mud and some unnecessary low frequencies, especially when you're thinking in a mix. And I could emphasize some pleasant frequencies around the chainsaw realm. And that's really cool to have this weapon in front of you. So I think I might probably use the Amber Spyglass more in this application. As far as the Boss Super Overdrive goes, it doesn't work for me. Maybe I should try it with another pedal, and if you have any suggestions of a saturation pedal that might do the trick, leave them down below in the comment section. But for me, the Super Overdrive belongs after the HM2. I like it way more, especially uh, the way it tightens up the sound after the HM2, and for the amp, it just sounds better to me. So, let me know what do you think of this experiment and was it a success, in your opinion? Comment. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider checking out the links in the description. I will leave links to the HM2 Wasa and to the Super Overdrive in case you want to purchase them. And you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. Well, and with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.